I wasn't a huge SpongeBob fan but loved it nevertheless. I didn't exactly appreciate the new SpongeBob episodes, practically because they were tasteless in comedy, but you have to admit, there are good episodes here and there from the modern SpongeBob. I usually keep older SpongeBob episodes in my DVR on my grandpa's old TV. I've been begging him to get a new one, but he always seemed to turn down the idea, so I eventually gave up asking him. One day when I was tired of looking at social media and YouTube, I looked up a website that sold old and lost VHS and DVDs from the olden days, when I came across a VHS of SpongeBob SquarePants. I was wondering why VHS of SpongeBob was here, if I wanted to get a VHS of the show I could just get it off eBay. But my attention span and spending habits weren't on my side as I clicked on the image. It was in a weird condition, with a piece of loose leaf paper torn off and stuck onto the VHS saying SpongeBob SquarePants in sloppy writing. It didn't look like it was too tampered with, mostly because I also have terrible handwriting too, so I clicked purchase. A few days later, the VHS arrived. I tore open the package and dug through the box, package peanuts flying everywhere. I can clean it up later. I was practically inside the box until I held out my prize with both hands. Almost immediately I put in the VHS player and it started to play with minimal white noise. While it was getting ready, I grabbed some snacks along with some ginger ale. When it was finished loading, the episode selection screen was just filled with one episode simply called Episode. I didn't pay attention to it, but I got creeped out by the fact that there wasn't any music, just the noise of the TV softly buzzing from how old it was. The screen stayed black for a short bit until the theme song abruptly started, startling me. But the theme song was normal for the most part. Besides the obnoxious buzzing or white noise in the background, I could tell what they were saying. The title card seemed less colorful, having a dark atmosphere, and had a grainy background, not helping with the already old. The name of the episode was called, Liar, with a 1 instead of an I. I was confused on this, but didn't mind it, maybe a typo? There weren't any credits, just the screen. The episode didn't start right away, it was black for a couple of seconds, with a, still, obnoxious buzzing from the TV before cutting to Spongebob's house. Spongebob had no emotion in his eyes, like the color was sucked right out of them. He was also sitting on the floor, not on his couch for some reason. He was watching TV, or, sort of. His TV was all static, but no noise was coming out of it. The episode was starting to get more static until I slammed my fist on the TV several times until it came back to normal. The room was mostly dark, and mostly his house too, except for the TV, again, with the static. As a few more seconds went by, I could hear him say something above the lines of Everything? This? This is a lie? They're all liars. All of them! I know their stupid little tactics! All of them! While rocking back and forth, I was a little spooked out, but not too frightened. The episode went on, with it zooming into the TV. Split images of SpongeBob appeared, but were poorly drawn. He had the same emotionless eyes, and was, half, smiling. It was unsettling to say the least. The episode cut back to him softly murmuring the same phrase as before, but a little too quiet to hear. The episode cuts to static, then self-ejects from the old VHS player. I assumed it was the end of the episode. I wanted to show this to my friend, who has a much better quality television than mine, so I took the VHS to their house which was ironically a couple more blocks away from mine. They said we could watch the tape in their mother's room, who had a VHS player. The episode started out the same way, just with less static and more softer buzzing noises. When the episode ended, it did the same thing as it did before, eject from the player. We both shrugged at this and parted ways. Back at home, I was torn on whether to contact Nickelodeon about this episode or not, because I didn't want to bother them with a useless complaint. It could just be a bootleg episode that was sold for cheap scares and laughs. So instead I kept it in my room, with the other VHS tapes that I have hoarded. I couldn't exactly sleep that night, due to thinking about the episode. I wasn't scared of it or anything, but I did have questions about it. Who made it? What was this made for? Why was it made, 